All right, welcome back to Yellow Case and a new tutorial on ripping DVD movies for your Mac. Now this is going to allow you to place your home movies that you currently have already paid for and are sitting on DVDs onto your iPhones, iPod Touch, iPods, iPod Nanos, and everything else you can imagine. So what I'm going to do here is send you to a website where there's a software called Rip It by a company called The Little App Factory. I'm going to go there now. Just go ahead and launch Opera, Firefox, Safari, whatever web browser you use. I'm going to go ahead and launch my Safari. And I've already navigated to the website, thelittleappfactory.com. Now you'll notice there's one called iRip. Now that's not the one we're talking about. We're talking about the one here called Rip It click on that and there's a button there to download the rip it software for Mac OS 10.5 or 10.6 once again remember this is for Mac only click on download now your download window will open in my case it downloads to my downloads folder and I can just go there quickly by clicking on the magnifying glass I'm gonna drag that to my desktop just to make this a little bit more obvious close these windows I'm gonna unpackage that zip by double clicking on it and there is the app I wanna use I'm gonna throw that zip file away I don't need that anymore now that it's unpacked and I'm gonna put this application in my app folder my applications folder and that's directly in my main hard drive my startup drive I'll double click on the applications folder and just drag, click and drag, and drop that in there. To launch it, just double click on it. And it's going to ask you, or basically warn you, that you got this off the web. Are you sure that you want to open it? So click on open. And there it is, hiding behind my other window. I don't need the applications window open anymore. Now there are two options here. One, uh, you're going to notice there's a rip button an eject button and a compress button that has a little red ribbon around it called or that says beta which means that this feature is still in development now I've already inserted the movie Family Man with uh, Nicholas whatever his name is uh, Nicholas Cage and it already recognized the movie and it's ready to rip now if I click on rip it's gonna make a file a disk image of this disk so that I can burn it again to another physical DVD and I could put that in my DVD player or I can click on compress and make a digital file that can go straight to iTunes for all my mobile devices I'm gonna do the latter I'm gonna click on compress but before I do that I wanna check the preferences in rip it by clicking on rip it in the top left of my screen and selecting preferences I want you to skip all of these options for now. I'm going to go straight to the compress options. And notice that the video target on mine is already set to high quality M4V. M4V is the extension for movies that are considered iTunes friendly, which means iTunes recognizes it as a file format for that specific software. So anytime you double click on a file ending in M4V, by default it will open in iTunes. Notice that there are two checkboxes below it. One is import into iTunes, Apple formats only, and delete after importing into iTunes. Now I check that on. The reason is, if you look at my general tab, my movie will be placed in, in this case, my desktop. So once I compress it, it'll be placed on my desktop, then automatically imported into iTunes, creating a duplicate. Now if I have this delete after importing to iTunes, it'll delete the one that's placed on my desktop leaving only the one that was imported into iTunes that kinda keeps everything nice and tidy so let's do that I'm gonna click here I can rename this if I want family man uh, let's say that uh, a couple of these DVDs don't use spaces or maybe have a widescreen it'll say family man widescreen afterwards you can delete that I'm gonna click on compress and notice you can manually choose the titles or have Ripit attempt to automatically locate the main title and compress it for you. 
you can change these and other options and the preferences under compress. Now we already went there. I'm going to click on don't show this notice anymore and select automatically compress. So now anytime I click on compress, it's going to automatically make, in my case, a high quality M4V file, placing it on my desktop. Then it will automatically import into iTunes and delete that original file from my desktop. Let's go ahead and let this run and see what happens. All right, we're about a little bit over halfway through. You can see the DVD turn in there processing, and it's 63.4% completed as of now, and it has 9 minutes and 37 seconds remaining. There's also a little red button here where you can click on to stop processing. And you may notice that on your desktop or wherever you selected the final file to be placed there is a file with the name of the disk in my case family man dot rip it now, this is a temporary file this is this couldn't be used right now this just lets the computer know that there's a file being placed here and it is not yet finished okay now that the process is done it's automatically copying the M4V file into iTunes and you might want to take a look down here on my desktop there's the familyman.m4v and there's also the full DVD that it also made so when you click on compress it makes the compressed version the M4V and the full copy of that DVD to be used through another program to burn copies of that DVD so I'm going to go back up here to iTunes. It's copying Family Man. It's almost done. And it's going to appear here under my movies. And there it is. Actually, there it is. Family Man. So all I need to do in iTunes in order to play it is select my movie. Click on play. And there's my movie. Now, of course, I will want to watch this movie on more than just my computer such as my iPhone which I've connected here so I just select my iPhone select the movies tab on the top and I'm just gonna search for it in the search field select to include that movie and hit on apply and as soon as I hit on apply it's gonna start syncing on the top you'll notice it there and it is copying family man to my iPhone and I can copy it to my Apple TV my iPod touch and just about any Apple product. So that's it. That's how you rip your DVD, add it to iTunes automatically. You'll notice on my desktop that M4V has been deleted automatically and I've been left with the ripped copy of the DVD which I can use to make hard copies of my DVD uh, using other software but if you use all your movies or want to watch all your movies on Apple devices you don't need this. Just go ahead and Throw it away.